that one. Oh. <sighs> This is the latest project car I picked up. It's a Mark II 987 thereabouts, Golf GTI in Atlas Grey. Uh, it's been through the 90s. Um, and there's a panel gap. So, yeah, we'll do a quick run around uh, and then I guess we'll just get stuck in and start stripping. So, what was, what's that little hammer again? So we'll start at the front. Yeah, indicators here should be orange. They've, I think they've been tinted. So we might be able to, yeah, you might be able to see here, there's oh, some orange pooking through there. So I think, well, we might be able to strip those back. It's got a non-standard grill, which um, is gonna have to go back to a standard grill. Uh, looks like it's lost its kind of duckbill spoiler thing. The kind of the bit that goes under there. So we'll work that out. A little bit of scabbing and stuff. I guess that's the original paint on the bonnet. This swing, that's that's not original. These wheels again, not original. Ooh, we've got drilled discs. Goodness me, this is a racer. Yeah, uh, the car's lower than it was out of the factory, I guess. Oh, I've nice. got, oh yeah. Scabby, ooh, scabby sills. Let's see if we can. Oh yeah, that's gonna, I think this is all gonna have to come off. They might be doing sills on this. Lovely tint job here. They should come out okay. Got a scuttle there. It's kind of rusting out. Got some scabbing at the top here, so I think the windscreen's gonna have to come out. Which means all the glasses are... Oh, we got some trim. Nice. Do we have it on the other side? Nope. Well, maybe we once did. And no more trim on this side. I'd like to try and put that back in if we can. Oh, we got the bit more rust there. We've got some great looking rust under there. That's, oh yeah. Small rust around the arch. We've got a small dent there. Maybe that'll push out. We'll find out. A bit of grot there. Let's have a look in here. I mean, people say they always go in this area, but I, I mean, is it under, underneath this? And the back, more rust around the rear arch. Uh, this bumper is, I think this bumper should be black. It's not black, but a little bit of damage on the side. Rear lights should be orange at the top, I think. Have these been... Oh man, someone's done a, another custom tint job on there. Might be able to clean that up. They've been tinted to look like the uh, smoked clusters you get on the later GTIs. Um, bonnet's dinged. Here and here. Ah, oh, does the bonnet open? The bonnet does not open. Actually, it's not too crusty around here. A little bit around the back. If you can see that around the back there. Uh, more big here. We've got a white wheel. That's nice. Ah, oh, yeah. The interior doesn't look too bad from first glance. We'll strip it out, see what's under the carpets. I'm sure there's, I mean, the carpet doesn't look too bad, but you know, there's gonna be rust under there. Oh, oh yeah, there we go. Oh. Oh. That's not bad. I mean, we're missing the cover from the timing belt. It does run, it's 
a little bit rattly though. Let's 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 fire her up. Oh, I always feel bad about getting into a car with these this mechanic outfit on. Okay. Make sure we're in neutral. bad. Oh, horrendous. As I was saying, I'll bring you guys in. This, that doesn't look standard to me. We've got silicon hoses on. I mean, it's not bad. Let's have a look under here. See what the oil looks like. Here. Oh no. Well, that's not the best start it's in there as well, but that could be condensation. I'm just looking down here. Oh, have a look in here. Uh, well, there is oil down there, and it's not quite as mega nasy. It's not a lot of oil. That's not the end. That's oily. So it could just be like a rock blocked breather up here. I'll move my finger out of the way. So it might be okay there. That is the cool one. Um, I mean, there's no oil in there. I'm not sure if the oil would make it. I, 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 don't, I don't know, but uh, I don't really want to run this too much in here because I haven't quite got the and it's just not good for you, that stuff, you know? Oh yeah, it smells eggy. Uh, oh. Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, 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 so if I, okay, the back panel's off in here. And if, can I just, No, that's not going to stay up. Okay, well, I can get out this way. That's cool. Uh, what do I have that's kind of... Is that going to be... Is that going to work? Ooh, maybe. Uh, there we go. There's the boot. Once we've got that open, I kind of wiggle this, this metal bar here, grab it and wiggle it, and that activates that. This part here, cool. The boot's open, that's good. Um, I think the only thing to do now then is start stripulizing this. Uh, I mean, the carpet, that just lifts out. That's great. Seats. Hmm. Eight mil? Ten mil? Problem with as soon as you start taking this stuff apart, it just takes up. Oh that's that wasn't tight. Nice thing about seats in the Mark II Golf is it's one nut and bolt. Just one. Ah uh, well, tell a lie. One plus. Oh, there we go. So the seats might be held in with one bolt, but there's also a trim cover on the back that you need to get out of the way. Let's get this box. That's gonna do. Oh. 
Nice. Maybe not. Where did that come from? Along the sill, maybe? Is this something I would... Let's put it in the box. You never know when you're going to need something. Oh, more carpet. Is that coming up? Oh. So as I was saying, oh, that trim's been removed. That's good. As I was saying, oh, <coughs> I've been so to show you. Since the GP isn't happening, Allen bolt and nut trim piece. After you remove those, seat comes right out. Great. He says, seat comes right out. Oh. Let's see the wheel. Don't make me get in the seat. Come on. Just comes. Oh, maybe I needed to remove that too. Maybe I still need to. Oh, no. That's broken. Oh well. There's another screw back here. Oh, it just comes right out, yeah. Are you bent now? Oh, there we go. Now, will you come out? Oh, yeah. Oh, how? this? Oh. Yeah, come on. Oh, come on. Oh man, these seats are really cool. Oh, I'll put this over here. Whew. Oh, there's the, what? Is that a spare door trim? Oh, I'm looking forward to seeing what's underneath this carpet. Maybe there'll be some money in here. Oh. All right, same on the other side. Uh. <laughs> yeah. I hope you haven't got the volume up too high. Might sound a little bit racy at the moment. Oh. <sighs> now then, I'm going to take these some bolts. Uh, uh, I'm gonna bang them back in the front of the seat because then I'm not gonna lose them. How old is this car? 87, three, 33 years old? No. Yeah, 33. I mean, that's, what's that in car years? Like a hundred? Uh, okay. Back seats. I've got, I mean, these are also loose. Does that just pull off? Uh, yep, kind of. Uh, screwdriver. 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 Uh, screwdriver, there we go. Well, I mean, there's some good stuff in here. What is this? Nice, I've got a couple of hose clamps. They're gonna be useful. Oh, hold on to them. They've got, what is that? Just history, you know? It's kind of like arche arche <laughs> car archeology. Oh man, I, I am pleased. Car archeologist. What do you do? Well, you know, I spend a lot of time on my hands and knees. Carchaeologizing. Oh. Oh. Uh, what's next? Oh, I'll take the treasures we found out. Oh yeah, 
I'll probably weigh those in. Now, how am I going to keep track of where stuff's come out of? Does anybody have a, a good method for that? Because I feel like I'm just going to end up with a big pile of nuts and bolts. And that's, that's going to make reassembly, you know, long. Do I put them back in the shell? No. That's, that's the wrong place to put them. That's really in. Is that original? Could be. It's pretty good. Oh, a comb. Nice. And a glow stick. <laughs> Five feet. It was worth doing. Is that a welding tip? A couple of trim clips to pop off. Don't worry. I have a tool for that. Oh, we got some. It's that. Spare wheel. No, that's not a spare wheel. That is. That's hilarious. I think someone left a scooter tire in here. Take this out. Space saver? I mean, that's. Does that even. Is that weight saving? That is. That's not okay. I mean, hey, that's continental. Ah, I take it all back. 60 PSI. What size is it? 14, 105, 70. <laughs> 105. Oh, well, that's going to be handy. Uh, where am I going to put this? I mean, okay. We can put this, let's put this over here. Trim clips. Okay, check this out. So this is kind of, and then pop. Not too bad. <laughs> it kind of feels like teach your teach your kid how to pry stuff open. I guess I had a. Ooh. So I've had a bash of these before. I mean, it's not bad. I think it was about I don't know ten quid or something. I mean, this one's great. Why? Is that so you can hold on and... I don't know. But I like these. Feels like... I mean, there's probably a lot more expensive versions of these, but, you know, I do like a good deal. Um, right now I'm going to pop these... Ah, let's have a go one-handed. Why not? Where's the uh, trimulizer? There we go. That feels like the right tool. So, does it work? Oh man, that is not going to happen one-handed. Oh, maybe not the right tool for the job. Let's have a go with my first crowbar. Oh goodness, that was almost boot head. Oh yeah. Is that just going to... Hey, and again, we're going in. And... That is life changing. Let's try a hands hands free filming. I don't know if you can see this, but I'll see you later. Hop, 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 hop. Oh, where are the rest of them? This is good. <sighs> oh dear. In here. Goodness me, that sound is not the best. In here. Uh, I think that's all the un clipping I can do for now. I'll bring you back out of here. Uh, ooh, space saving emergency spare? No way. No. That wheel's not original, is it? Does it have any? Well, knock me sideways with a feather tip pencil. You see that there? Maybe. That is a VW and Audi logo. Three and a half K. Whew. 
So maybe, I mean, how old is this tire? I don't know how you work out how old tires are. Isn't there some like dots or something somewhere? I'm just um, pinging in here. Let's pull this bit off. This was sort of there. Oh man, that's, that's not a great angle, is it? It's just too much light. That was on there. Like that. Sort of connect connected to this along here. Popped it off. This went springing out. I think that's probably to keep a bit of tension on the on the bolt here. Stop it loosening, maybe? Maybe to keep tension on this, so it's kind of sprung one way. Oh, look over here. I mean, no, not really. Can I open this without breaking it? Maybe with this? Should probably have my uh, safe spectacles on as well. I'm gonna go a bit easier. It looks like it's kind of got like a seam fold there. Oh, there we go. And one again. And one more down here. Try and get it out. Without. Ah. There we go. So that was in that way round. Like that. That way round. Oh, so it springs. You see that? I think it was on this way round. So, you see that spring there? I mean, maybe it was all the... No, it wasn't around more. So they're kind of, <laughs> kind of, is more inclined to spring back. Which kind of makes sense. That's nice. I don't, I can't see that kind of keeping any having any effect on this being tight, but I can see it being a spring that back. Hey, trim, trim, trimmini, trim, trim. Trim, trim, trimmini, trim. See that bolts, see that bolts. Sprangs. I'm lifting off the sill trim. I'll bring you around here. That's probably enough. It's just like had a screw at either end, and I think they have yeah, there we go. Clips. <sighs> you just never know. Ooh, there we go. See? Probably can see. These clip. Oh, that's broken. Now, these clips should look like that. And they, I think they kind of, yeah, like they move up and down. So when you're putting it back, you need to make sure they're in the right place. But that came out not too badly. Where did I put those screws? Need to get this carpet out. Oh. There we go, that's coming. Oh, is that going to come from underneath there? Ooh, don't want to forget about those. That was kind of behind where the seatbelt thing was. I bet they never get that put back on after you've done a refurb. And it just goes there. Is this the thing for a trim clip remover? Oh, and... Ooh. Man, a lot of copper in there. I wonder if it's oxygen free. Whip. 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 Uh. Oh. Whip. <coughs> 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 ah. That just 
floor with this kind of uh, oh. <sighs> definitely don't want to breathe any of that in can I lie down in here? could this be a camper? oh man, can you imagine? why get a camper when you can I mean I'm not I could I could dig this as a, as a camper it's pretty nice me. Oh man, that smells like vanilla magic trees. Oh man, that's, that's a blast from the past. Vanilla flavoured magic trees. Can you use it? Yo. Oh yes, the improbably located trim clip. Oh, yeah. on. oh. oh. Not so much vanilla. Oh. Not much vanilla is Check that out. She's down. Is that down? Yeah, that's down. What is that? Fucking repaired. I mean, it's not great. I'm going to fog a bit here. And liberal application of gaffer tape, but you know, that's fine. It's a little bit. Could be dried out, maybe nothing. This one Okay, so first bit of progress, really, which is nice. After having had car for a month or so, got most of the interior out, or at least broken the back of it. Maybe next time we'll continue getting the trim out, we will stop the wheels off, maybe? And we're going to get the glass out as well, and that's. I'm not looking forward to doing that. Just feels that sort of thing that could really go on. Do I need to get help to get the windscreen screen out? Maybe a extra pair of hands to... Yeah. Thanks for watching. Or listening. Or whatever it is you wanted to do. These videos are not really aimed to be like, or planned to be a how-to. It's more just kind of how not to. A uh, bit of relaxing watching. Have yourself a beverage of your choice while um, just soaking up the experience of doing this project. I'm going to do a bit more tailing up here uh, and then wander on home. So I'll, I'll see, you, see you later and uh, hopefully check you next time. Just calm down. We don't need to get upset about it. Let's have some tea. You can just stay over there.